Now we ask your Bibles in prayer and meditations. Elder Levi Samuel shall lead us in prayer. Eternal Father, we do come before you once more. We are thanking you for your loving kindness. We are thanking you for your tender mercies. We are thanking you again for your one and only true plan of salvation that you have brought down from heaven. Lord, you have given your life for us on the cross. You say it's not your will that any should perish but should come and have everlasting life. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this radio broadcast. As it goes across the airwaves, oh God, we are praying for a leader and apostle, Bishop Melton Green. Continue to strengthen him, oh God, and build him up, Lord Jesus, that you will be able, oh God, to deliver your word. Lord Jesus, remember our assistant pastor, Bishop Melvin Samuels, as he fill in on the broadcast for our beloved Bishop Melton Green. We ask you, O oh God, to place your holy words in his mouth as he preach out the word of God telling mankind on the face of the earth what they must do to be saved. Lord Jesus, give him boldness. Continue to build him up and strengthen him, O oh God. Lord Jesus, wherever this broadcast is heard by way of radio, tell somebody to run for their life. Get baptized in water in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Ever live a holy and sanctified life right here in this present evil world. Lord Jesus, we are praying for the sick, the poor and the needy, those that are locked away behind the prison bar. Lord Jesus, give them a mind, O God, that they may recover themselves from the sneer of the devil who have taken them captivity by his own will. Lord Jesus, we are praying for rulers. We are praying for a president and his cabinet. Lord Jesus, wherever this broadcast is heard by radio, strengthen somebody heart that they may cry out saying, what shall I do to be saved? Lord Jesus, remember our radio choir as they sing the songs of Zion. Ever refresh some hungry souls out there in Raiderland. Lord Jesus, we know, oh God, that you love us and we love you. Help us to serve you, worship you, oh God, when you come back. Oh, you glorious church, help us to be found in the number. Crown him, King of kings, Lord of lords. Bless us and keep us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen and amen. Friends and neighbors, you're tuned to the Bible to Gospel Radio Service coming to you. From the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit us here at the Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday, noonday. Now, in case you're interested in reading some biblical literature, the mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. We will now select you from the Holy Temple Senior Radio Choir, dedicated to all our radio listeners and title, By and By. By and by, Lord, when the morning comes, when all the saints of God will all be gathered home. We will tell the story of how we overcome and live understand the better. Oh, by Understand it. We'll understand 
Coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, all the apostolic faith. Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit us here at the Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday, noonday. Now, in case you're interested in reading some biblical literature, the mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. And I will make them a place round about my heels a blessing. And I will cause the shower to come down in its season. There shall be showers of blessing. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you always in every prayer of mine for you all, making requests with joy for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day unto now. Praise the Lord, holy greeting in all the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thanking the Lord, our, thanking the Lord for our beloved apostle, Bishop Belt, Pastor Bishop Belton Green, for assistant Pastor Bishop Melvin Samuel, to all the elders, ministers, brethren, and all the saints of the Most High God. Truly, we have so much to thank God for. He is indeed in his holy temple and does continue to bless his people. We are approaching our 2020 annual National International Junior Missionary Showers of Blessing Service, which will convene here at headquarters on Monday, May the 18th through Saturday, April the 24th. We are looking forward for a glorious showers of blessing service in the Lord. Please be aware that Saturday service will start prayer, at 6 p.m. and talent service right after. God has truly moved abundantly in the Holy Temple with many souls coming into the body of Christ <clears throat> and many testimony of God healing, healing power during the pandemic. For the past 60 days, God had blessed <clears throat> the Holy Temple Church and then to baptize over 14 souls, four received the Holy Ghost and two received the right hand of fellowship. If you are unable to attend the service, please send in your activity report, financial sacrifice meal. Please make all che checks payable to the Holy Temple Church. Bishop Belton Green, Apostle Pastor and General Overseer. Sister Takesha Williams, Chairman, National International Junior Missionary. And Sister Charmaine Bridget, Assistant. Now at this time, it is my pleasure to present unto you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Assistant Pastor Bishop Melvin Samuel. He is a healer. He is a healer. He is a healer. Amen. Amen. He is a healer. He's a healer. He's a healer. Amen. Amen. He's a healer. He's a healer. He's a healer. Amen. Amen. Here's a healer. Here's a healer. Here's a healer. Hey, amen. Amen. I love him. I love him. I love him. Amen. Amen. Christ Jesus. 
Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let the church praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Amen. Truly indeed again. Once more, we are bound to give God thanks for blessing us again. Such a great, wonderful opportunity where we can come before you all one more time. We do thank in God for our beloved Bishop and Apostle, Bishop Belton Green. Thank God for him, dedicate that song to Bishop Green and all the saints. Though when we serve in a God, he's a healer. Say in his word, there is nothing too hard for him to do. So we thank in God for our beloved Bishop Belton Green, allowing us one more time to come before you all in his stead. Thank God for all our radio listeners out in radio land. Greet each and every one in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank God for that wonderful selection coming from the Raider Scene Choir because that's our hope one day. We're going to be with the Lord one day and we thank God. That's a great hope. That's a great hope for the church. My God, the church have a lively hope. My God, we got a lively hope. Amen. And I'm thanking God for having such a great hope. One place, Apostle Paul said, Eyes have not seen it, ears have not heard it, neither have it entered into the heart of men. What the Lord have prepared for the people of God that Amen. love him. So we are thanking God for blessing us with such another great, wonderful opportunity to come stand before you all once more to declare this one and only true plan of salvation. Thank God that God Almighty himself set up. He prepared it before the face of all people and mankind. Nobody going to be able to get around what God set up. I God, what he say, what I say to one, I say yes. unto all. Yeah. The world not going to be able to get around it. I'm thinking about in the book of Luke chapter 2 and verse 25th verse. He brought it yes. and he prepared it before the face of all people. My God, and nobody going to be able to get around what God set up. The word of God say in the book of Luke, chapter 2, and the 25th verse. And behold, behold, there was a man in Jerusalem. There was a man, Jerusalem, whose name was Simon. 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 Yes. And the same man was a just and devout. Just and devout. Waiting for the consolation of Israel. God, he was waiting for the consolation and the of hope. Israel. Yes, and yes. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. The Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost. By the Holy Ghost. He should not see death. Should not see death. Before he had seen the Lord Christ. Before he have seen the Lord Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. He came by the Spirit into the temple. When the parents brought in the child, Jesus, yes, to do for him as the custom of the law, yes, then took he him up My in his arms. God, he took him up in his arms. And bless God. And bless God. And said, and said, Lord, my God. God is a Lord. Now let us thou servant depart in peace. Let now thy servant depart, depart in, peace in peace according to his word. According to thy word. To thy word. To thy word. For my eyes have seen salvation. My God says, you know we are blessed. Amen. We are a blessed people. My God is in my eyes. I've seen salvation. Yes. Which thou hast prepared before the face of my all the people. God, he prepared it before the face of all people. Mankind, each and everywhere, going to have to line up with what God set up. Amen. My 
God is not a nada. The world is going to have to line up yes. with what God set up. Amen. Say, he prepare it before the face of all people. My yeah. God of all people. The light to light My the Gentiles. God, and you know what he said? God is no respect of earth. Amen. God in every nation, everybody going to have to line up right. with what God brought. That's it. He brought it. Praise and God. he prepare it Amen. before the face of all people. Yes. My God and everybody going to have to come and get in it. Because the word of God say in the book of Daniel, chapter 2 and verse 44. You know, it's a blessing to get in what God set up. My God, so many try to establish something on their own. But only what God set up going to stand the test. That's it. Listen what the word of God say. In the book of Daniel chapter 2. Yes. And the 44th verse. In the days of these kings. In the days of these kings. Shall the God of heaven. My God say. You know you ought to feel. You ought to feel happy. When you get in what God Amen. set up. Amen. Shall the God of heaven. Set up a kingdom. My God he set it up. God set it up. Oh, yes. Shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom? Set up a kingdom. It shall never be destroyed. My God, he says, shall never, never be nobody destroyed. Nobody gonna be able to get around God. Everybody gonna have to get in what God set up. He set it up. Yes. He prepared it before the face of all people. My God. God, I don't care where you from. Everybody going to have to get lined up in what God set up. Amen. My God, I'm glad to be in what God set up. That's right. In order to get in what God set up, you first, you first do the word of God. So when they heard this, yes. in Acts chapter 2, 36, yes, my God said, Paul fought it a while, but after he got in it, he said, I count myself happy. My God, when you get in the church, I don't care what you are up against. My God is a blessing to be in what God set up. Listen what the word of God said. Acts 2.37. Uh, to, to, yes, start at the 36th verse. Therefore, therefore, let all the house of Israel. My God, you want the world to know. Yes. My God, everybody is not ashamed. You want the world to know. Amen. Therefore, let all, let the, house all of Israel the house of Israel know as surely. My God say want you to know as surely. That God, that God has made that same Jesus. That same Jesus. Whom he crucified. Whom he crucified. Both Lord and Christ. Both Lord and Christ. Now when they heard this. When they heard this. They were pricked in their heart. My God, this gospel ought to reach somebody. I don't care where you are, having yet obeyed the word of God, having yet been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, this gospel ought to reach you. Amen. So when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. They were pricked in their heart. They said unto Peter, My God, you got to do something. My God, you out in radio line, listening to this radio broadcast. When you heard this, they were pricked in their heart. God, get ready to do something about your soul. Man. Don't stay out there. Don't stay out there. My God, they tell, tell him, say, why tarriest thou? Arise and be baptized, calling on the name of the Lord. Don't stay out there and wash away your sin. My God, everybody, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. This gospel ought to trouble your heart. Remember when I heard the late apostle, Bishop Randolph Goodwin, by way of radio, my God, in 1974, I was tuning on my radio to, yes. to turn to my ball game. But my God, while I'm turning on my radio dial, I come across this man of God. I don't care where you were born. Raise up. You got to repent. You got to be baptized in the space of five minutes. You know, when you're ready to do right, it don't take a whole hour. 
my God, in five minutes, it didn't take the eunuch long. The eunuch says, see, here is water. What does hinder me to be baptized? My God, I thank God for our beloved Bishop Belton Green. I was sitting here and thinking about his labor, his sacrifice, labor hard. These, I met him 46 years ago, but my God, his favorite word was continue. Continue! Yes. My God, in the things that you have learned. My God, you are out in Raider land. So many yes. done heard his voice by way of Raider. You're going to give account for this gospel. Oh, yes. You're going to give account. I don't care who you are, where you are. The Holy Ghost said, Thou all men, thou art inexcusable. Whosoever thou art, the world won't have no excuse. You better humble yourself. When they heard this, they were gospel, pricking their heart. They were pricking their heart. And said unto, said Peter, unto Peter and to the rest, and of, the to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, men and brethren what shall we do? I God, somebody out there, you need to get busy right now. Pick up the phone. Call us up. Uh, hallelujah. Pick up the phone right now. Do something. Bishop Green often times say, if you have to take the Chinese bus, if you're scared to fly, get some way, somehow, and do something about your soul. My God, my God. It's a blessing when you hear this gospel. It's going to reach on his heart. Uh, on his heart, my God will cry out. Yes. What is that? Yes. Now when they heard this, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. They were pricked in their heart. And said unto Peter, said unto Peter, to the rest of the apostles, and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, men and brethren, what shall we do? What shall we do? Then Peter then said unto Peter them, Peter said unto them, Repent, my God, get sorry for your sin. Repent and be baptized. Repent. My God, wherever you are, having yet been baptized, get busy, repent, and be, and baptized. be baptized. Every one of Every you. Every one of in you. In the name of Jesus My Christ. My God, in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission for of sins. For the rem So your sin can be blotted out. For the remission of and sin. And shall receive, and you shall the, receive the gift of the Holy for Ghost. The promise unto My you. God, he promised it to you. Yes. He promised it to you. And to All you got to do, humble yourself. Humble yourself. The promise is unto you and to your children. To all that are all far off. That are far even off. as many. My God, even as many. As the Lord our God shall and call. He's calling the world. Yes. Wherever you are, God is calling the world. My God said, Come unto me. All he that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Don't stay out there. My God is a blessing when you can hear the voice of God. God is calling. My God, wherever you are today, might as well you get busy. Might as well you humble yourself. Don't stay out there till it's too late. Some people are going to stay around till it's too late. Just like as it were in the days and now. My God, he was warning them to come in the ark. Yes. God instructed them. My God, to build the ark and tell him what to do. He was warning them to come in the ark. That was the only saving method in that dispensation. But men wouldn't go in. Men wouldn't go in the ark. My God, no doubt they're coming up with all kind of excuse why they wouldn't go in there. My God, I see all the animals going in. They see everything going in. My God, but oh, now. My God, he believed God. He moved with fear. It's a blessing when fear, when the fear of God get in your heart, oh, you're yes. going to do something Praise about God. your soul. He moved with fear, preparing an ark. 
for the saving of his household. My God, that's what it's going to be now. People out there, you're going to play around and, to, and linger too long. My God, it's not good to linger out there, you know, because God ain't going to change his purpose for no man. He said, what I say to one, I say unto all. My God, you better get busy and get in God's church, the church that he started. My God, he said, what I say to one, I say unto all. Everybody, wherever you are now, don't stay out there. Don't try to establish something on your own because that won't stand. Only what God set up gonna stand. Amen. My God, no doubt somebody might try to build something else like Noah, but that couldn't stand. My God, that ark that God instructed Noah to build, that was the only saving method in that dispensation. So it is now. My God, you got to humble yourself and come in what God set up. Because don't stay out there. Oh, Paul fought it a while, but after Paul got in it. My God, he said, the things that I once destroyed, now I'm preaching it. After Paul got in it, he began to preach it. Yes. He went on, preach it on over. Yes. He said, the thing that I once destroyed, I'm here preaching it now. I see him began to write to the Romans. In Romans chapter 10 and 1, he began to write. Brethren, yes. my God, my heart desire a prayer to God, to God for Israel that they might be saved. That they might be well, I bear saved. them record. I bear them record. That they have a zeal of God. My God, your zeal ain't gonna save you. You're gonna have to do it according to God's word. They have a zeal. Oh, so God. many people have a zeal of God. You know, just tonight. like just like make me thinking now. You don't have to go there, but you know, in 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 Kings with Elijah, you know, those men have such a zeal. My God, Elijah, Elijah said, the God that answered by fire, let him be the God. And those those men have such a zeal. My God, they launched themselves. They cut themselves. They were crying out. Elijah mocked them. Said, maybe your God is done gone in a, on a journey. Maybe he is in a chance. Maybe he is asleep and need to be awakened. My God, they jump on the altar and they cut themselves. People out there have such a zeal, but not according to knowledge. But here in the man of God, Elijah got the knowledge of God and he's bring them say come on to me now my God and he form it and build back the altar and he tell God Lord I'm doing it according to thy word hear me now my God when you do it according to God's word God gonna move he oh, said yeah. hear me now my God and then the fire fell my God, why? He have the knowledge of God. But they were cutting themselves. But the, they didn't have the knowledge of God. But it's a blessing when you have the knowledge of God. Amen. Listen what the word of Brother, God says. My heart my desire. Heart a prayer, prayer to, to God. God. Oh, yeah, My you know. God, we are praying for you. Mankind, we're not fighting. No. We are praying for you. Yeah, it's yeah. our desire to see you humble yourself. Come on in there. Repent and be baptized. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. We are praying for you. Enemy make you see us to be your enemy. But we are the one on our knees crying out and begging God for mercy because he's a father of mercy. Listen what my heart desire and prayer to God for Israel, for Israel that they might be saved. That they might be well, saved. I, bear them record. I bear them record. They have a zeal of God. God. So many people have a zeal of God. But not according, but to, not knowledge. according to knowledge. Well, they've been ignorant, they, they God been ignorant of God's God righteousness. And going, about. and going, you see, you can't establish nothing for God. That's Do it. you hear what the word of God say? Well, they They're going about. They establish their own righteousness. You can't establish, you're going to have to come in what God set oh, up. Yes. Wherever you are. 
by God, you're going to have to humble yourself and come in what God set up. You can't establish anything for God. Going about. Establish their own righteousness. Establish their own righteousness. They have not submit themselves. All you have to do is submit. That's what these, these people did on the day of Pentecost. Yes. 3,000 so. They submit. When they heard Peter, that's, that's where they submit. Men and brethren. What shall we do? That's how, that's what you submit. Don't stay out there and fight it. My God, don't stay out there and set it up in your heart. People have some stout word now. They don't want to submit, but you're going to have to submit. Yes. The world got to have to submit to what God brought. My God, he ain't going to he ain't going to bring something different right. because I don't want to submit. That's it. With you all. I'm going to have to, go. Paul tried his best to get around it. Paul said, the thing that I once destroyed, I'm now preaching. Paul had to get in it. And after he got in it, he said, out of foundation can no man lay than that which is lay. Nobody else. You're going to have to get in the same body that I'm in. Well, my God, somebody said, who are you? I'm a child of God. And you better have to fit in in the same body. God ain't going to make no difference for you because he didn't do it for Paul. Paul have to come and humble himself That's right. and get in that same body. Man. Uh, and after he got in it, then he began to write, my God, to the Corinthians. You won't, some people out there fighting won't submit. Might as well you humble yourself, beloved, and hurry up and do it quick. Because tomorrow is not promised to you. Well, one thing promised to you in Hebrews chapter, I believe, 9, 27. That is promised to every one of us. If, if God don't come and take us away, my God, somebody going to somebody gonna see that. My God, in Hebrews, I believe, 9, 27. What it is, is it? And as it is upon it, it is appointed unto Unto man. And to man. Wants to die. Wants, wants to, to die. die. After this. My God, what are you going to do about this? After this. The judgment. Judgment coming. Going to slap judgment upon this old wicked world for all your disobedience. And, and you know, one play, I believe Stephen said, uncircumcised, stiff neck, and uncircumcised in heart. I'm telling everybody, you better humble yourself quick. You better get in God church because one day you're going to leave here. But the people of God, we the saints of God, we got a lively hope. That's the beauty about to be a child of God. Every saints of God, we got a lively hope. After Paul fought it, Paul got in it. And Paul began to write to the Corinthians in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and 1. And we know. My God, no, maybe so about it. We know that if this, our earthly home of this tabernacle, my God, sometimes you feel this thing dissolving on you. Sometimes I get up, you don't feel all the ways, but, but I'm holding on to God. Ah, I'm holding God. This thing going to dissolve. If you stay here long enough, this thing going to dissolve. I got a lot of my loved ones done gone on before. It's dissolved. My God say, ain't going to be a fool. I'm going to wait on God. Listen what the man of God said. And we know. What you know, Paul? Second Corinthians 5 and 1. What you know, Paul? Praise and God. we know My God, that that's, our earthly that's house, what we are rejoicing about. This old earthly house of this tabernacle. Of this tabernacle. Desire, oh, if this thing go down on me, my we have a God is going to be all right. It's going to be all right with every child of God. On, if Jesus. this old thing should yes. go down, 
Word is God. God. Word is God. We have a building of God. We have a building of God. A house made with hands. My with hands. God, a house. Made not with hands. made with hands. Not made with hands. Not made with hands. Eternal in the heaven. Eternal. We got something in the heaven. Amen. Oh, saints, this thing all going away from me. Somebody sing a song, say, this old building. My God, it won't stop me. I got to move to a better home. Yes. I'm going to slip out of this one day. You're going to slip out of this thing one day. We have trouble now. We hurt now. But that's all right. Then he going to come and gather his children in his arms. We're not going to be always hurting. We won't be always crying. God Almighty, he going to come and see about his children. If it were desired, we have a building. Have a building. Not made with Not hands. made with hands. Eternal in the it's heaven. Eternal in the heaven. But in this we groan. In this sometime we have to groan sometime. Oh Lord. Sometime we have to groan sometime. Oh, yes. Sometime I have to fall back on the scripture that weeping may endure for a night. But I said my morning is coming after while. In this old tabernacle, we ground honestly to clothe upon, to clothe upon. our house which oh, is from heaven. Oh, we have a building. We have a house. Yes. We have a house. We have something better, saints. We have something better. We have a house from heaven. Yes. My God, my God, our house, which is from heaven, which is from heaven, is so he say, I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go, I'm coming to receive you to myself, and where I am, I my be. God, we're going to be with him yes. one day, we're going to sit around the welcome table, he's going to call us off the job, well done, good and faithful servant, I I see you laboring. I see you suffering. You wouldn't give it up. My God, come on. He blessed. Sit around the welcome table. Hallelujah. The world gonna realize. My God, there is a better day ahead. Get me Revelation chapter 21 and 1. In the book of Revelation chapter 21 and 1. And After all the trouble, all the suffering, all everything is going to be over. I saw a new heaven. And a new earth. I saw a new earth. For the first heaven and first, first earth. heaven and the first will earth. Will pass away. Will pass away. There were no, no more sea. No more sea. And I, John, saw I the holy know, city. Oh, saints. God have a holy city yeah, new prepare Jerusalem. for holy people. New Jerusalem coming down from God. Coming down from God out of heaven. Out of heaven. Prepared as a bride to as as for, for, for a husband. And I heard as a voice. As a voice. A great voice. Read on. Out of heaven, saying, saying behold, behold, the tabernacle of God is with oh, men. Oh, we're going to be with him one day, saints. It's gonna, we're going to be with him. Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. What a day. Somebody say, when I see Jesus, amen. amen. When I see Jesus, no more suffering, no more crying, no more heartaches, no more persecution. When I see Jesus, we're going to see him for ourselves. We're going to see him. We're going to be with him. He's going to sit us down. He's going to girt himself. He's going to serve us. I'm going to be with him. You got to be with him. That's why we are laboring. That's why we are suffering. If this earthly house of this tabernacle being dissolved, we got to build enough God eternal in heaven. What is that? The tabernacle. Yes. Yes. And I, John, saw the holy city. Holy city. New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem. Coming down from God. Coming down from God. Out of heaven prepared as a prepared bride. Prepared as a bride. Adorned for a husband. Adorned for a husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying. Out of heaven saying. Behold. Behold. The tabernacle of God. Read on. 
is with man. Is with man. And he will dwell with them. God will oh, say, he going to be with us. And they should be I, his people. God is a gather together, my saints unto me. Those that have made a covenant by way of sacrifice. Oh, we're going to be with him one day, saints. He's going to be with us. Read on, son. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, <laughs> Yes. Behold, the tabernacle of God. Read on. It's with man. It's with man. And he will dwell with them. God going to dwell with us. My God, people. you see, right now, he dwelling in us now. My God, you see, I'm going to walk in you. My God, he dwelling in us now. Oh, yes, sir. But one day, we're going to be with him forever and ever. All right, church. Read on. And they shall be his people. He shall be his people. And God himself. God himself. Shall be with them. Shall be with and them. And be their God. And be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears. My God, you got to cry sometime. But that's all right. Somebody sing a song said, trouble in my way. We got to cry sometime. But God will fix it. He going to fix it after a while. Yes. He know how to fix it. Hang on in there, saints. Don't give it up. Hang on in there. You are trouble on every side. Pain hit you sometime. But stay with God. Hang on. Sometime you're going through the test. How do you say and God, God shall wipe away all tears, all tears from their eyes. From their eyes, there shall be no more death, no more death, neither sorrow, neither sorrow, nor crying, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. Oh, sometimes you're hurting, oh, yes. pain all over your body. But my God, He's gonna come. Yeah. The mighty God Praise coming. God. No more death. No more pain. For no the more former sorrow. things. Former things I'll pass away. I'll pass away. He that sat yeah. upon the throne oh, said, say, what? Behold, behold, I make all things new. All right, church. Hold God. Hold God. Yes. I don't care how bad the condition look. God have a set time. He know how to bring his people out. Hold God. Hold God. Behold. Sometime you're in the back. Of, you don't know what to do. My God, that's why Jehoshaphat tell God, say, we know not what to do, but our eyes is on you. You keep your eyes on God. He know how to deliver. God know how to deliver. Jehoshaphat were waiting on God. What he says, sir? Yeah, I, I'm over the time failing me now. My God, time go quick, but I have to finish and round it up. My God. All right, I hit it in spot. All right, church. My God, the world got to line up. Listen what he's saying now. Second Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 12. Sometimes you're in a back or you don't know what to do. But turn it over to God. Yes. Sickness come. Turn it over to God. Trouble come. Turn it over to God. I don't care what it is. Turn it over to God. All right. Listen what the word of God say. Oh, our God. Oh, talk to God. Oh, our God. Well, Thou not judge them. My God, you know how to judge them. You say vengeance is yours. You promise to repay. Read on. But we have no might. You ha we have no might. Against this great company. Sometimes it seems like everything coming at you. Have no might against yeah. this great company. They're coming against us. That everything coming against you. Yes. But what? Neither know we. My what God. to do? My God, sometimes you get in the back, you don't Come know what to do. But God said, look unto me. Yes. Keep your eyes on God. Said, we Bishop. don't know what to do. Eyes. But we're going to keep our eyes. eyes. We're looking to you, Lord. What you said, David, I'm going to lift up mine eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help. My help coming from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. My God, but our eyes are upon thee. Are upon thee. And all Judah stood uh, before the Lord. Stay there. Stay before God. With Don't you. move away from the hope of the gospel. Trouble going to come, but stay there you know our eyes why are you looking why you got your eyes on him why second peter i believe two and nine you can't look to a better one and when you look to god why our eyes yes upon thee is upon thee why peter second peter two and nine 
That's why I'm going to keep my eyes on him. Yeah, the Lord knows. God knows. How to deliver the godly. You can't look to a better one. And when you look to God, Come on, I don't care how bad it yes. is. Just remember, the Lord, the Lord knows. Lord, Everybody Lord. don't know, but we serve a God that he know. He know. He know how, how to deliver, to deliver the, godly. the godly. Whatever you're going through, just remember, beloved, I preach here Friday night about the impudent man, 38 years. He was waiting on the water. My God, but when it seemed like everybody stepping ahead of him, he stayed here. Whatever you're waiting on heaven for, keep on waiting. Why? Because the Lord knows. How to deliver the godly. Know how to deliver. He's a deliverer. He's a way maker. How to deliver the godly. He know how to deliver the godly. He told he told Abraham, say, where is Sarah thy wife? Say he's in the tent. He says, Tell her at the appointed time. Yes. God have appointed time that bring his people out. He said, At the appointed time, I'm gonna return. And Sarah gonna have a child. My God, Sarah laughed in the day. He said, why did Sarah laugh? Is there anything too hard for God? There is nothing. God have a point in time. Wait on God, saints. Yes. Wait on God. My God, you out there in Raiderland. You better get busy now. Do something about your soul. Even the ones that done gone out there. My God, you know you're not getting this gospel. You need to hurry up and come on back before it's too late. Don't stay out there now. That prodigal son, he never stay out there when he realized he was eating hus. He wasn't eating the same food that he used to eat. He was on hus. He come to himself. Come to yourself before it's too late. Don't stay out there and let it be too late now. Humble yourself and come on back. The prodigal son said, I'm going on back home. How many hire servants? My father more than bread enough to spare. I'm out here starving. No stay out there. Humble yourself. Come on back. Yes. Say, I'm going to say to my father, I've sinned against heaven. Sin again. I'm not even worthy to be called a son. Take me back as a hire servant. All right, beloved. Come on back to God. Humble yourself. My God, God bless you. Everybody Amen. need to come on back to God. Everybody need to come on back to God. One day it's going to be too late. My God, don't stay till it's too late. All right. You better do something about your soul. Call us up. Write to us. My God, he said, because sentence against an evil work is not expertly speedy. Heart of the son of man fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, it seems like you're getting by. But God of a day oh, said, yes. all right, man. you better get busy. My God, go ahead, Minister Newton. We'll be back next My. week, Lord's willing. All same right, same church. Same, same hour, the same day. You can call Bishop Belton Green at 718-584-0691. Again, you can reach Bishop Belton Green at 718-584-0691. You may also visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Again, you can visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Until then, may God richly bless you is our prayer.
Amen. Let the church say praise the Lord again. Amen. Thanking God again for the word of God. Say, shall not return unto him void. Amen. The word of God is going to accomplish things. Right. Uh, God ain't nobody going to get around God's word. Amen. God's word going to prosper wherever he sent it. Somebody somewhere going to give heed to the word of God. So we thank God again. Some say, when I see Jesus, that's what all our labor and all our suffering, that's what it's all about. My God saying, we're going to be with him one day. And I'm thanking God for you that have a mind to hold on. That's it. My God is going to be just like God said. That's right. Ain't nobody going to get around God. Praise my God. God uh, uh, Paul told him, sir, I believe God. Amen. It's going to be just like God said it. When a man or a woman done receive his testimony That's and it. set to his or her seal God that God's true. word is true. My God, that's going to be a tough one against the enemy. Somebody going to back the way right oh, on yes. you. So look up and see him coming on the sky. Say, so, well, my God, you don't receive it. You don't set to your seal. My God, after Paul receive it, they beat him. They beat him. Amen. They stone him. My God, but Paul said, none of these things move me. Need a count of my life dear to myself. that I might finish my course with joy. He re when a man or a woman who received his testimony and hid it in their heart, my God, they're going to be a tough one. Oh, they're going to yes. go through Dang. the test. Praise they're going to go through the suffering. They're going to come on back. And we'll say, say, I'm still on board. I'm still on board. My God, after all the things I've been through, what's the matter? I still have joy. I still on board. Paul said, none of these things move me. The enemy would love to move you from That's this. Right. But when, when a man or a woman don't get grounded, you can come over here until you get grounded now. Right. My God, I don't care. Will anybody talk about you? Paul said, I'm a fool for Christ. What's the matter? I don't get grounded. My God, they mock him. My God, for the men, them ban themselves and not curse. We're not going to eat or drink until we kill him. My God. God, but Paul, for the fall and get grounded. I'm encouraging all of you, come over here and get sickle in God. Don't let nothing, the devil will love to move you. Oh, but yes. this is what the man of God say. Get grounded in God. Say, you can get grounded. You can pray till you get grounded. You can pray till you get sickle. Oh, my my God, you can fast till you get sickle in That's God. It. Paul, Paul, Paul get grounded. Yes, sir. For the men, ban themselves and not curse. We're not going to eat or drink until we kill him. Kill Paul. My God, my God. But Amen. Paul got grounded. Paul said, suffer me to speak to the people. Amen. What's the matter? I'm grounded. None of this. You know, it's a blessing when you come over here and get grounded. You better get me the book of Colossians. Ain't going to be for you long. Colossians. Uh, get me Colossians. Yes. Amen. Two. My God. 20, two and the 23rd verse. Mm -hmm. You can get grounded. You can get so grounded. My God, you say, Paul said, none of these things move me. Paul got grounded in God. He said, none of these things move me. Nine. My God, they told him, say, Paul, you are beside yourself. Yeah. Let's just say, who you think you are, Paul? Amen. Who do you think you are? Do you know who you do you know who you're speaking to? You're speaking to to the king Agrippa. Why are you talking to the king like that? You are beside yourself. Then he said, "You know what he said? What with Peter and the fishermen, they say they are ignorant and unlearned. unlearned but man. when they come up against Paul." They couldn't say that about Paul because Paul came up at the feet at Gamela, at a doctor of the law. He taught the law. 
And Paul was so well learned above his equal. But my God, when he come up against Paul, God is the only wise God. He can get a man that is unlearned and he can get a man that's fully learned. Oh yeah, that's a thing that was ignorant and unlearned. But they took knowledge, he'd been with Christ. With Jesus. But then, when they came up against Paul, yes, my God, I said, Paul, you beside yourself. Who you think you are, Paul? I know you're mad. Much learning doesn't make you mad. Amen. I know you got, you got Felix Trimble. You got the governor just trembling. And now you're going to talk to the king like this? I thought I, I count myself happy. Yes, King Agrippa. I'm so, you better get me. Acts 26. I, yeah. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, yeah. Thou but, permitted to you speak. You know why he was able to talk like this? The yeah. reason why he was able to talk like this is in Colossians chapter 2 and, and 23. Which things have indeed a show of wisdom? <laughs> Colossians. Colossians chapter 2. Yeah. 23rd verse. 23rd? Yes, sir. Colossians chapter 2, 23rd. Yes. Yeah. Which things? Yes. Which things have indeed a sure wisdom? Yes. In will worshiping and humility. Yeah, go to 123. 123. So I, I won't stay there too long. 123. Colossians, Colossians 123. 123. If you continue in the faith. That's it. When I first came here. I heard Bishop Green preaching all the time. Continue. Bishop Goodwin gone out of town. He come on back with the same gospel. Amen. Continue. My God, why? If he continue. In the faith. In the faith. Grounded and settled. You know, you can get grounded, say. And settled. In the natural, you know, you, when I used to be in ball player, I can tell a man coming up. I said, don't let him get second now. Yes, sir. That man, that's a left hander. <laughs> My God, he walked with his shoulder. He act like he owned the field. And he just walking around. I turned to my teammate. I said, don't let him get second. If you let that man get second, we're going to have trouble. Get him out before he gets second. That's the devil, you see. The Satan have a plan. He don't want you to come over here and get second over here. Because he know if you come over here and get second, yeah. you're going to be a tough one again. You're going to be a buckle axe. If you come over here, the enemy want to move you. That's it. Young people, everybody, the devil have a plan. No, I don't want. I look at my friend. I say, come on, man. Never. Look how the guy walk with his shoulder. Just kick him. I said, man, never that's trouble. Don't let him get second on us. My God, there, there is no room to make a mistake. My God, that, the you? devil don't want us to come over here and get second. Amen. Listen what he said. If you if continue the faith. He continue. In the faith. In the faith. Grounded and settled. Grounded and, and settled. settled. And be not moved away. My God, if you if you let the devil try to get you out of here oh, before yes. you get second. He'll do it now. Yeah, don't think I don't have my share. Enemy come first here. I'm in the church. Oh no, nobody. Came in 21. Somebody just walked and spit in my feet. Mm. Devil say you better run out of here. Somebody tell me you better run. But Thank God for a good Amen. master build. Oh, yes. He said, son, the devil tried to trick you. Stay over here and take the rough road. My God, stay on the rough road. My God, your victory is on the rough road. That's it. Devil tried to push me out before Amen. I get sicker. Satan trick is to get you out of here before you get sicker. He know if you get sick, you're going to beat him down. You're going to be a tough one against the devil. Then if you can only get sick in God. Paul, after Paul gets sick, listen to what he said. If you continue in the faith. In the faith. Grounded and sick. Grounded and sick. He moved not away from the hope of the gospel. Devil want to move you away. From the hope of the if gospel. If he can move you before you get sick, you, he got you. 
But why is you come over here and get sickle in God? Yes. After Paul got sickle, Paul said, but none of these things move me. Yes. Need a count of my life dear to myself. Why? That I finished my course. You come over here and get sickle? My God, they beat him. They did all they could do to him. But Paul was sickle. Oh, he yes. said, and I might finish my course with joy. My say, henceforth is lay up for me a crown of righteous, not for me only, but all the rest that love is appear. Enemy don't want you to get sickle in God. No, sir. He wants you to jump up. He wants something to come to move you. But you can stay over here Amen. and you can get sickle. How sickle can I get? Get me St. John. Then I'm going to let you close out. St. John? Yeah, then I'm going to let you go on back to Acts after Paul gets second. St. John chapter 10 and verse 27, I believe, Minister Newton. The enemy don't want you to get second. Amen. Every one of you can come over here and get second in God. Listen what the word St. John 10, 27. Yes, sir. My sheep. My God. God, sheep of God. My sheep. Hear my voice. Hear my voice. And I know them. God know everyone. He see you holding on. He Amen. see you struggle. He see your tests you're going through. I, God said, I know my sheep. Yeah, I know them. Uh, brother, 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 my brother Barzell, he, brother Barzell, tell me he raised sheep. I said, man, I know. I'm going to buy one and cook one. I'm not a cook. But I love, I say, he raised sheep. But sheep are so tame. I used to see that old Billy go. My God, we used to have to, <laughs> and my brother have to milk that Billy goat. And we get that old Billy goat. We have to go and, and get them before we go to school. That old Billy goat just come bucking and, my God, and he don't want to come and we Time he stretch out his two feet. That's a stubborn thing. But a sheep yes. is so gentle. You just bad him. You gotta be a good one to kill one of those sheep. We were in Africa and me and me and Bishop Lewis and Bishop Goodwin and uh, our wife were there. And Bishop, Bishop with men have a sheep there. And when a little lamb, he went, he said, We're gonna kill it so we can eat. I God, and when we have that thing, and tears just start running out in that. <laughs> Bishop Lewis said, no, I ain't going to eat that. I'm fasting. <laughs> Bishop Lewis said, that was me. <laughs> Bishop Lewis said, I'm fasting. I ain't going to. That thing was so drink. It's a blessing to be a sheep of God. God said, my sheep. Hear my voice. Hear my voice. Mm -hmm. And what? I know them. God know everyone. That's it. Whatever you're going through, beloved, God said, I know them. I know them. I and they know. follow me. Somebody gonna follow God? All the trouble, all the pain, all the sickness. Somebody Man. say, I'm, I decided to do what? To follow Jesus. My God, I won't turn back. I won't turn back. My God. God, my God, the world behind me. My God, the cross before me. Why? I decided to follow Jesus. They follow me. Yes. And I what? Give, I give unto them. I give unto them. Eternal life. God say you're going to pay us off. Eternal life. And they shall never perish. They shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. What? Neither shall Do you hear man. what God words the saints? Amen. Let God be true and every man a liar. If God said it, I'm going to take him at his word. Why? Because it is impossible for God to lie. Neither yeah, shall any man shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Stay with God, saints. Stay. That's all I'm encouraging you. Stay with God. God, I don't care how bad the condition, yes. you're going to have challenges, you're going to face with all 
type of challenges in life. But Apostle Paul said, but none of these things move me. Need a count of my life dear to myself that I might finish a course with joy. Go ahead. God will help you to finish it. That's You're not issue. doing it on your own. No, he said, sir. he that began a good work in you. You didn't, you didn't start it. He's the one started. He said, no man, if God said it, my God, fetch will come up with all kinds. Moses come up with all kinds of excuse why he didn't want to go. Finally, Moses tell God, I'm not eloquent. I'm a man of a slow speech, slow to, But God will use uh, God don't see as man see. It. Right about that, Bishop. Men will criticize you. He man. didn't get that word out right. But he said, I'm not eloquent. God said, Who made man now? Who made the dumb? Who made the deaf? Who made God will use somebody? That's why when Paul came, he said, And I, brethren, I come to you, came not with excellency of speech or of man wisdom. I'm determined not to know anything. But here, here go Moses. Moses said, I'm not able. They won't believe me. He said, Put your hand in your book. Come let Put it back again. God show him all kind of signs. Then he said, drop the rock. What's that in your hand? He said, rock. Drop it. He dropped it. My God, it is a blessing to have power with God. He didn't have, he wasn't eloquent with man, but he had power with God. My God, when he dropped the rock. Now it become a serpent. Pharaoh tried to do the same thing, but it was power in Moses' rod. It eat up fear. Fear a rod. My God, he tell, he tell Moses, he tell, he tell uh, Moses, now go. Moses said, hear that too? I'm still not eloquent. God get angry and say, that's in Exodus. I believe four. Run it on now. Yeah, he said, he said, drop it. Yeah. He said, go now, who make your mouth? Mm -hmm. My God, somebody said, open up your mouth. I Amen. speak for you. Saints, you know, this gospel, the world got to hear this. Amen. Nobody going to get around it. Paul got it and say he was debted to the wise, to the unwise, to the born and to the free. But you see, Moses tried his best to wriggle out of it. But when Paul said, when it pleased God that separate me from my mother's womb to reveal it to me. So my God, he couldn't wriggle out of it. Moses said, said, huh? And Moses answered and said, Yes. But, but behold, they would not believe me. He know the human family now. He know it. He see them was struggling to get against each other. And he went there and tried to, and he thought they would understand how by him. Instead, they understand the next day he went, he said, you, will you kill me like you killed it? Moses yeah. had to flee. He said, they won't believe me. Yes. But what? Neither hearken unto my <laughs> voice. <laughs> you going to listen to my voice. See, God got to fix up his servant. Said, they ain't going to listen to my voice. But well, they will say. They will say. The Lord has not, has not prepared, appeared unto thee. God has not appeared to you. And the Lord said unto him, Yes. What is in thy hand? What's that you got in your hand? And he said, Arise. I want you to have power with me. Arise. Mm -hmm. Arise. Mm -hmm. And he what? said, Arise. Yes. And he said, Cast it on the ground. Put it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground. I want to show you my power. Yes. Put it on the ground. And it became a serpent. Became a serpent. And Moses fled from before it. Fled from before it. And the Lord said unto Moses, Yes. Put forth thy hand. Put forth your hand. And take it by the you tail. See, God got to fix him up, you see. God can make a believer. Oh, out yes. Him. Take it by the tail. Take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand. Read on. And caught it. Caught it. And it became a rod in his hand. Be Turn right back to a rod again. Yes. And what? That they may believe. The that Lord, they may believe. The Lord God of their father. Read on. And the God of Abraham. Read on. And the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob has appeared unto thee. Read on. And the Lord said further unto him. Further unto him. Put now thy hands into thy bosom. Put your hand in your bosom. And he put his hands into his bosom. Read on. And when he took it out. What a mighty God. God can make a believe out of you. 
When he took it out, behold, his hands was leprous as snow. Read on. And he said, Put thy hands into thy bosom. Put again. it back into thy bosom. And he put his hands into his bosom again. Read on. And plucked it out of his bosom. Out of his and bosom. Behold. Behold. Turn again as his own flesh. As his own. Oh, what a God. mighty God we serve. Amen. God will convince you and make a believer out of you. Read on. And it came to pass. It came to pass. They would not believe thee. Yes. Neither hearken to thy voice. Read on. The first sense of the first sign. Read on. That they will believe the voice of the latter sign. Read on. And it shall come to pass. Read on. If they will not believe also these two signs. Read on. Neither hearken unto thy voice. Read on. That they should take of the water of the river. Thou should take of the wa water, water of the, the river. river. And pour it upon the dry <laughs> land. Read on. And on the water which thou takest out of the river shall become blood shall become blood upon the dry land upon the dry land and Moses said unto the Lord listen Moses mm -hmm. trying to get out of it my God just like Jeremiah see I'm a child I cannot speak Moses Moses was running for he tried to get out of it that's why I thank God for Bishop Green he didn't run to be where he's at amen my God God, he wait on God. Listen, what the word. You don't have to run for nothing. Saints. That's it. What God has for you, it is for you. Man. Listen, what Moses said. Moses said unto the Lord. Said unto the Lord. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. I'm not eloquent. <laughs> I am not eloquent. Listen, I'm not eloquent. Neither hereforth, nor since I have spoken unto thy servant. Read on. But I am slow of speech. <laughs> That's who God wants. Somebody. People look for somebody to have excellency of speech. But Paul said, I'm not going to use it. I sat at the feet that Gamela. I learned all his excellence, taught the law, but that's not what I'm coming to you. Praise God. I'm not, I'm not going to bring man wisdom. Man wisdom cannot run the church. That's it, I'm a slow speech. You have a slow tongue. Huh? And of a slow tongue. I'm a slow in speech. And what of a that? slow tongue. And my, not only that, my tongue is slow. <laughs> I can't. Don't send me. I'm not, I'm not fit. Who are you sending me to? The king? Pharaoh? <laughs> my God. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm slow in tongue. Yes. I'm slow speech. Mm hmm I don't have, I'm not eloquent to go to the king. You send him back to Pharaoh? No, sir. And Praise try his best to get out of it. What is it? And the Lord said unto him. The Lord said unto him. Who has made thy mouth? Glory to God. Who made? Who has made thy mouth? God will take somebody that you least esteem and let the world have to hear it. Who made our mouth? Who made the dumb or the deaf? Who made the dumb and the deaf? Or seen or Read. the blind? My God, what? Have not I the Lord? Who did it? Have not I? Have not I the Lord? Now therefore. My God, don't you question me no more. Now therefore. Go. Go. And Don't. I will be with thy mouth. Wait a minute. God said he's going to do I will do be what? with thy mouth. Saints, that's all you need, God. Wherever you go, Amen. he told them I'm going to give you a mouth of wisdom. None of the adversary will be able to resist. God can be with a man's mouth. God can. Don't let nobody fool you now. God can be with a man's mouth. He tell Elijah whether they will hear or whether they will forbid. God said, I'm going to send you. And when God sent them, you better obey God. The world going to have to obey God. Saints, I'm glad for this opportunity. I thank God for Bishop Green. Continue to pray for Bishop Green. Remember Amen. the man of God, his great labor, his great sacrifice. God say, I know your works. Know all of us work, saints. All I'm encouraging to do, keep on working for the master. My God, he will surely bless you. He's going to give us our sweet reward. God bless you. God keep you. Amen.